Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to comparison with greater than or equal to operator. This is really similar, the greater than equal to operator, which is uh, the greater than sign, but then with the equal si sign behind it. Compares the values of two numbers. Uh, if the number to the left is greater than or equal to the number to the right, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. Like the equality operator, greater than or equal to operator will convert data types while comparing. So here's an example. Six is greater than or equal to six, true, because six is equal to six. Seven is greater than or equal to three, true, because seven is greater than three, even though, and the string gets con uh, converted uh, from a string data type to an integer data type automatically in JavaScript. Two is greater than or equal to three, false, because two is less than three. Uh, same thing going on with this one. So here we're going to say we've got test greater than or equal to the value. Um, the value gets passed in here. Here we have 10 being passed in as the val, so a val is greater than or equal to, um, see I did less than there, so I want to do greater than or equal to, it's 20. So right, if we were to run 20 through here, we would run 20 or over. Here we're going to do greater than or equal to 10, and then that should pass the test. Okay, cool. Now think. let's uh, think a little bit more critically about this. I just like to go into more depth. Yeah, because I think it's better to not just blow through these lessons, but to think a little bit critically of them, because then uh, when you get later on in your coding uh, development, you'll remember these concepts perhaps a little bit better. So if we throw console log in here, we're saying test greater than or equal to 10. So is 10, so our value becomes 10. This is our function. We've got our function here. We've, we're logging it out, so we're seeing the value, the response here. Test greater or equal to 10. So we say the value is 10. We put 10 in here, so val is equal to 10. 10 is greater than or equal to 20. That's false. In an if statement, it is, does not return. So then we come down to here. If the val is greater than or equal to 10. Now it's equal to 10. So it's 10 or over. So because it's equal to 10, this if statement uh, goes through, and then we start running the code that's in here. And that code just involves return 10 or over. And that's why it only says 10 or over. It doesn't say 10 or over and then run down here because once you hit this return statement, we exit the function. Now, if we were to say console.log test uh, greater or equal, and we did this to like a million or whatever, we see it says 20 or over. So what happens? We go through this function. The value becomes uh, 10,000. If the value, which is equal to 10,000, right? If 10,000 is greater than or equal to, or is greater or equal to 20, then we return 20 or over and it's done. So here we're, we're logging out that last one, it's 10 or over, and then here we're logging out this guy. Now if we were to console.log test greater or equal, and then we were to do negative 100, what happens here? It's less than 10, down here, less than 10. What happens is, uh, negative 100 comes up here. Negative 100 is greater than or equal to 20. False. Negative 100 is greater than or equal to 10. False. So then we come down here. It doesn't even matter what it is. No matter how great the number, it's going to end up, as long as it's less than 10, it's going to be less than 10. And that's how it works. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.